Today we're looking at the new Arctic Liquid Freezer 3. So, what can I say? Look at it, it's a beauty. But not only that, the performance will absolutely blow your mind. The Arctic Liquid Freezer Free Series, now in its third generation, offers advanced all-in-one water cooling solutions, combining design with efficiency. Available in sizes of 240, 280, 360 and 420 millimeters, with the color options of black as well as ARGB in black and white. It features a specialised LGA1700 mounting frame for even CPU pressure, an enhanced cold plate and an enlarged VRM fan for optimal heat management, plus an extended radiator service for better heat dissipation. The series includes pre-assembled Arctic P fans for easy installation and offers flexible control options for individual component management or a simplified all-in-one PWM curve control, making it a versatile choice for high efficiency cooling. Down to the packaging, we received the white model, which has also got ARGB. The box is mainly white with a few black accents and also features a detailed product sketch on the front. The highlights on the box are the inclusion of Arctic's MX6 paste, as well as a six-year warranty. Notably, it supports Intel's 12th, 13th and 14th Gen CPUs via socket 1700, alongside AM4 and AM5 sockets. Just note that, as stated, this is 1700 socket only, so that's Intel 12th to 14th Gen and possibly future variations. So you cannot install this on a socket which is the 1200 or 1150X boards. Inside, you'll find most of the cooler is pre-assembled, including the fans attached to the radiator. You also have inside the mounting kit, which is separate, as well as the VRM fan, which requires minimal setup when you're installing it. The packaging also includes the LGA1700 and AMD, AM4 and AM5 kits, Arctic MX6 thermal paste and cables for PWM control. Although packaging leans towards sustainable materials, an increase in single-use plastic is noted from previous generations. Depending on the model of the cooler you buy, the fans will differ slightly. In ours, you've got the Arctic P12, PWM, PST, ARGB fans, which we have reviewed in the past and found they run silent under minimal load, and even under full load, they are pretty quiet. And they'll look pretty good as well with RGB lighting from the center spindle, lighting up those diffused blades. The fans are pre-installed on the radiator, which means, like unlike most water coolers, you don't have to mess about with all the cabling from three different fans from the ARGB and PWM because it's already all done for you with the cabling going down the actual tubing to the CPU water block. The tubing was also sleeved, so you couldn't see any of that cabling at all, and it also blended in with the rest of the product, where our sleeve was white to match the rest of the cooler. From our inspection of the radiator, the fins seem to be denser than previous models, which should increase the surface area and obviously help heat dissipation. The CPU block features a magnetic VRM fan section for easy attachment once you've installed the rest of the cooler. The ARGB model includes a single connection you will need to connect to either your motherboard or RGB controller, rather than the usual four or five different cables for most of these coolers. You have two options of power in the pump and fans. The first option, you connect a single PWM cable which plugs into your motherboard. It's a four pin one like most fans and that will control the whole cooler. 
if the fan speed is set at 50%, the pump will run at 50% speed, the VRM will run at 50%, and all the fans will run at 50% speed. The second option is you use the other cable, which looks like a splitter cable, which gives you free PWM headers. And what happens is you will connect those free headers to your motherboard, and you'll be able to set the speeds for the pump individually, as well as the VRM individually, and the fans individually so if you wanted the pump to run at 50 percent speed and the fans to run at 25 percent and the vrm to run at 100 percent you can do that obviously you can also use fan curves if you wish so down to testing all testing is done on the same machine we run each test three times and the room is climate controlled we're also disconnected from the internet, so there's nothing there which can interfere with the test results. The room temperature is 21 and a half degrees Celsius, and we use the program called Passmark to make sure that the actual CPU is running at 100% all the way through the testing. So in this test, we're running the CPU flat out 100%, as we said, but the fan speeds are running at 50%. That includes the pump and VRM. We're running this on an i9 13900K processor, Z790 motherboard, 32 gigs of RAM, and so forth. And you can see here, running at 50% speed, that the Arctic Liquid Freezer 3 beats out the older Liquid Freezer 2 by 4 degrees. We also tested the Pure Loop 2FX, and unfortunately, that thermal throttled, so failed the testing. On this next test, we do basically the same thing again, but instead of the average temperature, we find out the maximum temperature the CPU got up to. And again, there's a four degree difference between the liquid freezer three and two. Bear in mind that's on the model we're testing, which is the ARGB white version. Now the Be Quiet Pure Loop, again, thermal throttled, so we class that as a failure, so we give it a zero rating. Now in this test, we do pretty much the same again. This is the average temperature when the fans, VRMs, pumps, everything is running flat out at 100%. And as you can see here, consistent is another four degrees difference between the older and the new model. So again, the Arctic Freezer 3 performing extremely well. The Be Quiet Pure Loop 2 did actually perform on this one. It came in at 78 degrees, the same as the older Arctic Freezer 2. In this test, we test the maximum temperature again with the fan running at 100% speed. And as you can see here, there is a five degree difference between the new Arctic Liquid Freezer 3 and the older version. Also, the Be Quiet also came in at 90 degrees as well, the same as the older Arctic Liquid Freezer 2. So well done again for the temperatures for the Arctic Liquid Freezer 3. Absolutely amazing temperatures there. So now down to how loud the cooler actually is. On this test, we're testing the fans and the VRM and pump and everything at 50% speed. The room decibel level is 31 decibels and it's a treated room, so everything should be fairly quiet in there. And with the Arctic Liquid Freezer 3, it came out exactly the same as the Liquid Freezer 2 and the Be Quiet Pure Loop 2 FX came out at just one degree louder, or should I say one decibel louder. This test exactly the same as the one before, but this time we're running the fans, VRM and pump at 100% speed, so they're going flat out. And we actually found the Arctic Liquid Freezer 3 came in at 2 decibels louder than the older model, but saying that it shouldn't need to get as fast as in the fans because it's able to cool a lot better. Bear in mind, comparing both of them to the Be Quiet Pure Loop 2 FX, they beat it hands down, not only in performance, but in quietness. Down to drawbacks, I can only see two drawbacks and I'm really having to think hard to actually even list these. The first one is one of those things is, is the way the cooler is actually designed, it has to go that way and that's to do with the non-rotatable logo on the CPU block or the ability to rotate the CPU block at a different angle. The way you want it, the pipes want to be below your actual CPU coming out obviously going up to the radiator you cannot have them at say a 90 degree angle or on top or anything like that otherwise the vrm cooling won't work efficiently the other issue is to do with a mounting system don't get me wrong it's very efficient and it cools down that cpu brilliantly 
but I can see so many people damaging their CPU sockets installing this without reading the instructions or doing it correctly or even accidentally dropping their CPU or fittings onto the socket and with sockets on motherboards if you do the slightest bit of damage the chance you're going to repair it is extremely unlikely. The Arctic Liquid Freezer 3 series exceeds expectations in cooling performance. It's capable of handling the latest high-end CPUs without thermal throttling. Its design and functionality make it an ideal choice for high-performance setups. Based on its outstanding performance and quality, we're doing something we don't normally do, and we're actually awarding this two different awards we're going to award this our gamers choice award and our hell yeah award where can you go and meet hundreds of people just like you strengthen existing relationships and forge new ones with vendors and distributors and meet some of the biggest names in the industry where you will be able to go and see the newest tech and services that you need to make your it business grow and there'll be thousands of pounds worth of prizes up for grabs. And what's more, you get all that for a quid. Tech Max 2024 will be on the 21st of June at Magna Adventure and Science Centre near Meadow Hall in Sheffield. This year's event will incorporate a live tech awards with evening casino entertainment, meeting areas, demo and interactive areas and 800 other techs just like you so go get registered now at tftmax.com i hope you enjoyed this video and know i did why not check out one of our other videos by clicking this box up here or this one just down here Otherwise, you can give us a thumbs up, like, subscribe, comment below, let us know what you think, and we'll see you next time.